So I think the number one reason that the mix came about was the inconsistency in old fashions. After a long, hard week at work, you go to a supper club, you get a plate of fish, and you enjoy it with a couple of old fashions. The challenge was that every old fashioned would taste different, you know, from bar to bar or restaurant to restaurant. So it really sparked my dad's imagination to say, this shouldn't be that difficult. You know, there's gotta be a better way to make a consistent product that tastes good and is cost effective. My dad tried to, you know, really hone in on that traditional cocktail, you know, that traditional re recipe. You know, our original recipe includes a cinnamon flavor or just a hint of cinnamon, which mirrors, you know, the original recipes. So we put a lot of time into, you know, trying to use the best quality ingredients, real cane sugar, one of the top selling bitters on the market, so that when a novice bartender mixes a drink, it's a consistent pour. You know, it's a consistent proportioning from drink to drink to drink. So as a customer in that facility, they know every time they order an old fashioned, that they're getting you know, the same product that they did from the previous bartenders. Gary's Old Fashioned Mix has brought our family a lot closer. Before my brothers and I took over the company from my dad, we were not living in the same state. So ever since we took the business over, it's really allowed us to spend a lot of time together. And without Gary's Old Fashioned Mix, we really wouldn't be as close as what we are today. Gary's Old Fashioned Mix, a Wisconsin tradition.